Are you on the table since last week? We have been under the table. It's amazing. None of us have changed our clothes. My legs are the Yeah, other than that, I actually brought another shirt, but it's so cold in here. So, okay, guys, this is the Extreme Improv Podcast Radio Rumble Comedy Show. On the show today is myself, David Postansky, and along for the ride today is... Dave Green! And... Lucky Dave Simon! I'm here too! That's under the table ruined our mental health. <laughs> <I know. laughs> oh dear. That's a great start. And goodbye! <laughs> Come back under the table. We also have... Ned Sanders! And... Angus Dustigan. And last but not least, Sam George. Exactly. Did you say your name? I didn't say my name, but I, I think I made, I've, I've made a mess of myself. It's oh, fine. okay. Cool. No, it's fine. No, like we'll, we'll have other people introduce you on your behalf. Yeah. Molly Stapleton. Oh. Ta da! Molly. Yeah. So we're going to play lots of short form improv challenges, and one of us will leave here today as the extreme improv podcast champion. Ooh. Ooh. And we will find out who that will be. We're going to begin, just to mix things up, we're going to begin with a game of Alliteration Anarchy. Oh, yeah, it's going to mix things up on us. And the way Alliteration Anarchy works is that there will be a few performers in a scene and each of them is going to be assigned a letter of the alphabet. Now, in the scene they can say any words they want, but they have the goal of beginning as many words as they can with the letter they have been assigned. Performing in this scene will be... Lottie oh, yeah. will be Molly, will be Dave and David. So there will be four of us in this scene. And can I have a suggestion from our other performers of a place of work? NASA. NASA. Oh, I almost had my NASA hat today. Okay, oh. but we're going to be working at NASA. Can I have a suggestion of some sort of crisis that NASA are dealing with? The moon's fallen into the earth. The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, if anyone understands that reference. Oh, it wasn't, but that's fine. <laughs> 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 into that reference. Is, that it? Uh, what, is there like another... Is there another thing where the... Well, hang on, what's, what's the Chicken Little? Doesn't he think the moon's, moon's falling? Moon's falling on the... Yeah. Yeah. Sky. Sky. It Sky. happens in the Umbrella Academy um, and in Bruce Almighty when he listens. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! If you have any moon falling into the Earth story... Well, you've seen all of those. See Get ready for this. Okay, can I now have a suggestion of a letter of the alphabet that Lottie will have to try w. to use? Dub What? X? Right, okay. So Lottie will have to try to begin as many words as she can with the letter W. Can I have a suggestion of a letter of the alphabet for me? O. O. Okay. So can I have a suggestion of a letter of the alphabet that Molly will have to e. use? E. E. We're going for vowels. And can I have a suggestion of a letter of the alphabet for Dave? J. J. Oh, I heard a J first. Okay, so just reiterate our letters. Dave, what have you got? J. Molly? E. I have O and... W. W for Lottie. And the moon is falling in. And here we go. Just who lets you that jalloping giant Jupiter-shaped moon here? <laughs> oh, my God! Oscar! Oscar, look! Wait, workers. Weirdness is happening in the workplace! Be <laughs> by a gum. Orange! <laughs> it's like a blood orange! Look at it up there! <laughs> Jack, just jump up to it and jump down upon it to bring it down here, you jumping jumper. Water's going <laughs> wild! <laughs> Everything's gone to shit. Walter. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Juliet, you're j just striving for those words, aren't you? Exactly how many employees do we have here? <laughs> well... <laughs> oh, we have zero. <laughs> zero? <laughs> Who are we? Well, oh, where were you? Where we has gone? We've Jack, we've uh, Jill, we've <laughs> Julian, Oscar, and Orlando, and Ophelia. He's Wallace? <laughs> no, he's dead. <laughs> Wallace? He's expired, yes. <gasps> oh, no. Wallace was the most wonderful weirdo. Or he was. No, he was great. <laughs> okay, okay. Eccentric, egotistical. He was he wandering was, hands. Or he was horrible. He was really horrible. He was. Oh. He just loved Jeffrey the Jalapeno Boy. <laughs> Everyone loved Jeffrey the Jalapeno Boy. Well, well, well. Look who suddenly knows who Jeffrey is. Ooh. And see. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's 
works! That, that was, was a clinic of how to perform this game. <laughs> Oh dear. It's like hoping it does begin with a J. It does. That was very good. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we so, we are going to move on to our next challenge, and this challenge, Ned, um, I would like you to perform a 30 second dramatic monologue. Can I have a theme for a 30 second dramatic monologue? Bees. Oh, bees. Okay, so, um, what, uh, bees. 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 We would like you to do a 30 second dramatic monologue on the theme of bees, and here you go. From the hive they come, over hill and dale. Leaving behind them nothing but a buzz. A buzz that indicates impending pollen productivity. They drag that pollen kicking and screaming back to their honey factory and produce their precious ichor. The ichor that we then steal for ourselves, put on our bread, and ingest into And that is 20 seconds! Well done! Very nice! Was that a game, or do you just want me to talk about bees? It's, it's a game, it's a game. Um, and just because we've got newbies in the room, I always like to mess with you guys a little bit. I try to explain some things, but not everything. So, we are now playing this game called Verbatim. So, Molly, you will have 30 seconds to try to recreate Ned's monologue as precisely as when you, you can. Don't listen to Ned! <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's always fun just to spring it on people the first time. It's the only game where I do it. Here you go. From the hive they come, over hill and dale, leaving nothing behind but a buzzing, indicating pollen productivity, which they ste go back to their hives and produce ichor, <laughs> which we then steal to put on our toast and gobble in our tummies or something like that. You've got five seconds left. Oh, well, I said it faster, so it's probably... Two on. seconds left. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's time! <laughs> well done! <laughs> okay. So, in this game of verbatim, as we always do, I'm going to bring it over to Angus. You will now have 30 seconds to recreate Molly's recreation of Ned's original monologue. Just for clarity, you're not recreating Ned, you're recreating Molly. And here you go. From the hive they come, <laughs> on the hill of Dale, <laughs> and they come with their pollen... Ica? <laughs> and they and we ingest in our tummies and we we ingest in our tummies and that's what happens. You got eight seconds left. Well I said it faster, so <laughs> <laughs> you got six seconds left. Well I do <laughs> Well done! Wow! So, we are being hazed here. We are being. <laughs> As we always do, we take things full circle. So, Ned, you will now have 30 seconds to recreate Angus's recreation of Molly's recreation of your original monologue. Just for clarity, you're not recreating yourself, you are recreating Angus. And here you go. Over Hill and Dale, they come, leaving behind them. <laughs> Some kind of buzzing productivity <laughs> and oh something then they go back to their hive and uh, um oh then we we still and put it in our tummies <laughs> And that is thirty seconds <laughs> 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 Oh, I, I, <laughs> it's fun to mock someone for mocking someone. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, the clarity is, so anyone who is listening to this, there was lots of eyebrow business, which will be exclusive to the video versions and editions Go of and this episode. It. Go and watch some eyebrow action. So, your eyebrows moving. <laughs> <laughs> the microphones. So, the question is, who did the best recreation of what came before? So, for clarity, Ned's original oh, monologue is not up for scrutiny here. <laughs> so, Dave, who do you think did the best recreation? I'm going to go with Angus. Ooh. Ooh. Lottie, who do you think did the best recreation? Ooh, I'm going to go with Ned. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> and else. Sam, who do you think did the best recreation? Oh, I feel like Simon Cowell. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with Angus. Oh! 
I will leave that there without confusing the issue. Angus, but that eyebrow that thing was one of the greatest <laughs> things <laughs> I've so ever happy. seen. Okay, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to be like the heroes, it. man. I'm just trying to be like you. <laughs> 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 okay, so we are now going to move on to a game called Rasslers. Yes. And the way Rasslers work is we are going to uh, have two competing promos to use the jargon from the professional wrestling world as if we have two trios tag teams who are going to be smack talking each other um, to say why they are going to defeat the other team. So, can I have a suggestion of an unusual tag team name or profession that could be the basis of a tag team? Urban like Gardeners. The Urban Sorry. Gardeners, that is fine. <laughs> so, oh, this Michael. team, you are the Urban Gardeners. <laughs> Likewise, Urban Gardeners, can you suggest either a na name of a team or a profession for the basis of the opposing team. The little baby girls. The little baby girls. Okay, so we have the little baby girls and we have the urban gardeners. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome tonight to this exciting episode of Extreme Improv Championship Wrestling. And tonight's main event will be the urban gardeners against the little baby girls. So... Coming over, before we get into this royal rumble of an event, we want to hear from the Urban Gardeners. Why are you going to walk out with the Trios Championship tonight? Yo, 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 with the Urban Gardeners in the his house. Or to be more precisely, his house is garden, because that's where we originate from. Isn't that right, guys? Yeah, that's right. I just want to say we have been preparing all day. We've been going around London watering fire hydrants. We've been planting, uh, we've been planting cars in the ground. We've just been doing a whole Urban Gardeners garden and think to get us real pumped up yeah. for kicking some some garden dwelling ass you know yeah you know what we're gonna put in the, in the ground next though Huh? <laughs> we're gonna put in the ground. Yeah, I have a feeling. Who are we gonna put in the ground, eh? This eh? lemon tree that I brought. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that too. That too. That too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the, the little baby girls. The little baby girls. Yeah. 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 Well, it's chaos here, but we're gonna go straight over to the little baby girl. Dummies, I'll tell you what we call you. We call you insignificant little pieces of dirt. Oh. 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 Shit and nappy, and it'll be better than you. Oh, oh we the main event tonight. Let it go. Don't spoil your like seeds. <laughs> okay, excellent. Well done. So that was <laughs> the <laughs> Urban Gardeners versus the little baby girls. Oh, and the strangest minute of my life. <laughs> <laughs> so far. And <laughs> we apologise to the eardrums of the I'm little baby girls sorry. squealed. So. Uh, we're going to leave it to our listeners and viewers at home. Tweet us, let us know, put it in a comment somewhere. Who do you think won? Are you team Little Baby Girl or are you team Urban Gardener? The choice is yours. So we are now going to move on to our next challenge, which is uh, we're going to have another game of the Extreme Monologue Endurance Challenge. So for this, we're going to form a monologue each where we have to speak for as long as humanly possible. We have the restriction that you're not allowed to repeat any words whatsoever, and you are also not allowed to hesitate, which we count as an extended pause or saying things like uh or um. For this, can I have a suggestion of a well-known character from fiction? Yoda. Oh, Yoda. Yoda. Can I have a suggestion of something Yoda is mad about? The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi. <laughs> the film. <laughs> okay, yes. Well, it's yes, up to you to I interpret mean, sorry. it how you like. Yoda is oh mad God. about the last Jedi. So, we will each have an opportunity and we will see who can last the longest. So, we will start with the champion of this game and the champion of the last show in total, which is Lottie. You are Yoda. You are mad about the last Jedi. You have as long as you can keep going. And if we notice you go wrong, you will buzz. Here you go. 
Dantooine was not featured, yet Mark Hamill was heavily. Was? Practitioner was. Oh! Was oh! 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 the mighty are full! <laughs> 52 oh, seconds, well, 11 <laughs> seconds in. I'm a failure and I apologise. You have <laughs> let you, should. you have let the people down. So sad. We expected magic. Okay, so that is 11 seconds. So, Dave, I'm going to bring it over to this side. Can I restart the timer? And here you go. Mm, Yoda is not happy with new picture from Disney. The Last Jedi, not my... Not! not. not. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. 12 seconds, 12 that seconds before it stops. I know, he does impressions. Can you do my ringtone? Like, that was <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to come to you, Sam. Oh. Okay, so for, uh, that was 12 seconds, I believe. So, Sam, here you go. Happy was I not with film Last Jedi. Did not like. Oh. 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 Okay. I know there's a hard one for this game, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that was seven seconds. I will, I will go next. I'm not going to do well. Sam, you can be timekeeper. Just All right, concentrate. Then. Go. The Last Jedi was an absolutely terrible film experience. Star Wars fans all over the universe. Yeah, yeah, the, the. What? Oh, yeah. The that. Last Jedi. No, that, that was okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's another 12 that seconds. Okay. What's the, top? What's the top for the minute? 12. 12, um, 12. 12, 12, 12. 12. Mm. Okay, so. Oh, you did 15? Yeah, you did hmm? 15. You did like 14 seconds. Oh, oh, I, thought you said, oh. I thought I said 12 as well. <laughs> no, I did 11. Yeah. So 12, 12 is the limit. So, okay, Molly, okay. here you go. Well, the thing is, <laughs> I believe. Well, that was his intention. Dramatic pauses are not part of this I'm game. Heavily disputed. But the thing was... is, I respect the same fuck it to doing Yoda. That was. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so sorry, but we have to be harsh. Not because we have to, but because I choose to. Okay, so Angus, have you done this yet? No. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play with the Yoda. I'll have a gap on your arse, I will. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you steady? Go. Never before in Galaxy has monstrosity such as this occurred. Once upon a young moon was... Uh, what? Was? No, he said has before. Oh, oh. incorrect yeah. challenge. Oh. 12 seconds down, keep going. Some fucker to my right challenge me? <laughs> Yoda, my name. I. My. my. I said I. You said, no, you my, said right my right and Yoda, my name. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, oh 20 yeah. seconds. Challenge to my left corner. So, <laughs> Angus, you'll have this all tied up unless Ned. Come on, Ned, avenge me. <laughs> Here <laughs> you go. Many Jedi I train come into house. This last guy, total dick, come. Oh, fuck. Oh! 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 You sort of buzzed yourself there. What went wrong? I said, come, come into my house. Oh, okay. It's always 13 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I have a weakness for come. That there was we a go. solid round. It was a yeah. solid round. <laughs> it was a solid something. We will pat ourselves on the back for that. <laughs> that so okay, <laughs> Angus, you won that round, though. Well done. Hey, hey. Okay, let's check the time. We will move on. Do we have time for one more game before the finale, finale round? No, we're going to move straight on to the finale round now, in fact. So... The finale round, as always, will be an impression battle tournament. So we're each going to do impressions, and we'll advance through the tournament to find who does the best impressions, or the least bad ones. So, <laughs> yeah. I will begin this round, and it will be myself and Ned this time. Can I have a suggestion of a character for me to do an impression of? Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy. Same I, it is the same <laughs> voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and can I have a suggestion of something unusual for Miss Piggy to be... <laughs> Making <a> bacon. <laughs> Making bacon. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. And here I go. Oh, well, Kirby, you may not like me like this because you think I'm too fat, but if I just get to my ribs and cut a little off, then will I be skinny enough to you? Hey, yeah! 
Oh my god! Oh, that was amazing! Thank I'm you. so disturbed. Right, right, so. Close up. Ned, can I have a suggestion of a character for Ned, please? Ooh. Rambo. Rambo. Can Ooh. I have a suggestion of something unusual for Rambo to be doing? The ballet ironing. Cross. Or what would you say? I said ballet cross. I'm going to go with the ironing. We had ballet in a previous oh, yeah, we episode. Did. My bad, my bad. Uh, last week or whatever it was. <laughs> okay, here you go. Alright. I'm here in the trees. <laughs> I'm looking around, and there it is below me. The iron and the ironing board. It doesn't even know I'm here. <laughs> All right, remember, just like Nam, time to strike. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, there you go. Lovely. So, the question is, who do we go for? Do we like Last Blood? Or did we like some Piggy Bacon? Oh, rock, paper, shotgun. Okay, no, okay we're going to have a category battle. Can someone suggest a category? Names we'll name beginning from... with M. <laughs> names beginning we're, we're gonna name names beginning with M in quick succession. They can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and if someone repeats a name, uh, doesn't say uh, a correct name or uh, hesitates for too long, they lose. Ned, I will let you go first. Here you go. Millie. Molly. My losers. They win! <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, losers! No losers! Yeah! No, 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 no. What a beautiful baby girl, what's her name? Oh, yeah. Melosis! <laughs> There's someone who watches called Melosis yeah. and we'd be yeah. really upset. Melosis. Your name is Melosis, please tweet him. <laughs> Put it in the comments, guys. Put it it's in the comments. It's like wine, but also the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> Melosis. Melosis. <laughs> Moses and Melosis. <laughs> Melosis. It's part of your glass of okay. It's for Catholics. Yeah, yeah, Melosis. <laughs> okay, we're going to move on. Melosis. So next up, like let's Melosis. have... Sam and Dave. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can I have a suggestion Check of a character for Dave? Captain Ahab. Captain Ahab. Can I have a suggestion of something unusual for Captain Ahab to be doing? In a supermarket. In a supermarket. Something unusual for him to be doing in a supermarket. Oh, I'm sorry. joking. Uh, no, 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 I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, uh, tuna. Try <laughs> buying tuna in a supermarket. <laughs> Take it away. Yar! Here we go, we hearties, and I'll take me fishing rod into the frozen food section. Right, here we go, hook it up there, reel it in. Yar! I have me tuna. I'll be taking this back to me ship. <laughs> there you go! Okay, can I have a suggestion of another well known character from fiction for Samuel? Uh, Homer Simpson. <laughs> Homer Simpson, something unusual for Homer to be doing. Uh, on the treadmill. On the treadmill. It's very visual, I just realised, but... Uh, I, I can do it in the voice. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Oh. <sighs> Marge, get me a beer. Who uh, oh, 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 turned it up? Oh, oh, oh. Dole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, can we have a cheer if you liked Kahab? Ahab? Ahab? Ahab. <laughs> I think you had Kmart. <laughs> right, okay, so Captain Ahab. Can I um, have some noise if you liked Homie? Uh, we just get have draws every time. Okay, we're going to have another category battle. So, this time, can I have a different category for these guys? A type of jewelry. What did you say? Jewelry. 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 <laughs> jewelry. Right, okay, uh, jewelry. Different types of jewelry. Here you go. A necklace. Watch. Bracelet. Earrings. Ring. Nose ring. Uh, uh, oh, that's a head of hesitation. Oh, we didn't get onto the penis ring yet. Okay, so. <laughs> we will. Oh, Prince <laughs> Albert. Okay, right, so Sam, you advance. Thank you. Who is next? Can we have uh, Lottie against Angus? Can I have a... Oh, hang on, it's a three-way, oh, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, three-way, three-way. Okay, so this time, once again, as we have in previous episodes, we will vote for who we feel uh, did the worst impression this time, just to eliminate someone. Can I have a suggestion of another character, this time for Molly? Uh, Who's the stretchy guy in Fantastic Four? Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Mr. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, you're Mr. Fantastic. Now, a suggestion of something unusual for Mr. Fantastic to be doing. 
Settling in for the night. <laughs> Settling in for the night. <laughs> he strikes me as that kind of guy. <laughs> okay, we'll go for it. Oh, I forgot to shut the curtains. No worry. <laughs> <laughs> I've got stretchy arms. Um, where's Where's my wife? Other superhero woman. Is she uh? Is she in the bathroom? I'll just go check. Knock, knock, knock. Honey? Just a minute. Okay. I guess I've got time to, uh... No one's around. I'll just open the old laptop here. Ooh, I've got stretchy arms. (laughs) And a stretchy, stretchy penis. (laughs) Wow. Okay. Uh, can I now have a character for Lottie, please? Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> Something unusual for Stretch Armstrong. Oh no, I thought we were getting up, doing Stretch Armstrong. Oh, it's yeah, going to be the same joke. Okay, <laughs> okay. I was, I was hoping we could have an all stretch round. Okay. Cosplaying Dracula. Maybe that was a bit of a stretch though. Okay, so uh, Dracula. Uh, we had Dracula a couple of episodes ago, so let's uh, mix it up. Oh, Bruce, Bruce Almighty. Almighty. Yeah. Bruce Almighty. Ah, Bruce Almighty. Can I have a suggestion of something unusual for Bruce Almighty to be doing? Maths homework. Maths homework. Here you go. Well, I think that uh, if I just take this little calculator here and just... Uh, <laughs> I think you'll find that uh, 18 divided by 3 is 6, and that's just the way the cookie crumbled. <gasps> that just came to me. Oh. Funny, funny, all these voices. There you go! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I should have stopped, uh, stopped when I. Yeah, you should have stopped. But I was about to say, oh, and then you had something else, and yeah, yeah sorry. I let you carry off that. Okay, <laughs> I liked it. So uh, we women. need one. What? <laughs> Speaking over women. Uh, oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a traditional podcast move, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> it's a traditional improv yeah. move. Thank you so much for saying that because you wouldn't have heard it from me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take your jokes and do them again and get the credit. Who said that? I love improv. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> anyway. Can I speak now? Right, okay. So can I have one more character, please? If I can't speak over women, I'm just going to have to let them go until they creep. Madness! Okay, okay, okay. I'm really quiet. Right. Um, Can I still speak over men? Uh, Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear. Oh, Lightyear. Lightyear. It's not unusual for Buzz Lightyear to be doing. Ooh. Hosting Woody's oh. Roundup. Ooh, I like it. So, uh, who's doing this? <laughs> I've lost <laughs> I'm Angus. Angus, here you go. <laughs> Today on Stockman, we have Woody's Roundup. You might know Woody as the cowboy toy. I just know him as the prick. (laughs) 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 Okay, so in in answer to the question of which one did we like least, uh, Woody's Roundup. (laughs) That was quieter than I thought. (laughs) Okay, Uh, did we like uh, Mr. Fantastic least? Or did we like Jim Carrey least? That was me. Yeah, it was you. <laughs> right, okay. We will now settle between you two, actually, because we need to get someone in the final. God. <laughs> Can I have a suggestion of a character for Molly? <coughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger? That one. Yeah, okay. Something <laughs> unusual for Arnie to be doing. I'm trying, <laughs> trying out stand-up for the first time. Trying out stand-up for the first time. I'm still laughing. Okay, Arnie, over to you. Look, look at what I can do with my pecs. Boing, 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 <laughs> boing. Um, I was in Terminator. That's funny, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to go home now. <laughs> there you go! Well well wow. Well okay. Can I have a final small. character for Lottie? Uh, Moaning Myrtle. Moaning Ooh. Myrtle. Something unusual for Moaning Myrtle to be doing. Being, Being in alive. therapy. Being in therapy. I like it. Being in therapy. <laughs> oh, and then the Malfoy boy came into the room and he cried. And I thought he'd come to throw another book at me, but he hadn't. He just came for some good old fashioned flirting. <laughs> and I tried to flirt back, and my hand went not just through his pants, but <laughs> through his body. <laughs> yeah. There we go! 
But we still need to decide who won that. So make some noise if you want to moan with Myrtle. I'm sorry. Make some noise if you like the governator. Well, I think Myrtle has it. So who just let so who who advanced in that round? One, two, three? Okay, so we will have a finale here. So can I have a suggestion of another character for Sam? Oscar the Grouch. Oscar the Grouch, something really unusual is. for Oscar the Grouch Another to be one doing. I've not seen. What? Oh, no. When you have not lived. <laughs> okay. Uh, he lives in a bin. Uh, the clue is in the title, sorry. Giving a film review. Giving a film review. Go for it. Uh, I didn't really like any of that film that I watched. It was absolutely terrible. Who names a film about a parasite anyway? <laughs> 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 okay, yeah. I like it. Can I you like explain it. the kuchunk? And someone said I was in a bin. Oh, cool. <laughs> so like, have a good day, sir. Yeah, I'll put the, the lid on. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, can I have a suggestion of a character for me? Hulk Hogan? Hulk Hogan. Oh, nice. Can I have a suggestion of something unusual for Hulk Hogan to be doing? Crochet. <laughs> Crochet. Okay. And here I go. Well, you know something, little dudes? When I get this pin, and I get that pin, and I get some wool, and I just put them all together so I can tear it apart, and all my Hulkamaniacs can't have any jumpers, because we want big muscles, 24 inch pythons. <laughs> 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 okay, and a final character for Lottie. Red Riding Hood. Alison Wonder. Oh, I had Red Riding Hood. Mm. You know, they're similar ish characters, like old stories. Yeah. You know, they're both women too. <laughs> right, so um, who are we going for, Red Riding Hood first? Yes. Red Riding Hood doing what? Learning to play guitar. Learning <laughs> to play guitar. Oh, indie. Oh, how many strings you have, instrument? <laughs> All the better to play you with. <laughs> God, I'm so lame. All I do is just walk to Grandma's house and then I pick some flowers and then I did kill a wolf. Mm. Maybe I peeked too soon. Did I peek? Back to guitar! <laughs> there you go! Wow. Okay, so the question is, um, are we feeling grouchy today? Oh, I'll take the title now. <laughs> <laughs> Will Hulkamania run wild? Or is Red Riding Hood looking at Grandma? <laughs> no, but I to Sam, it wasn't you. Oh, okay, oh, so um, we will have a finale here. Defending champion, in fact. Um, with Lottie against myself. So can I have a final character for Lottie? Cheryl Cole. Cheryl Cole, something unusual for Cheryl Cole to be doing. My favourite fictional character. <laughs> Cheryl Cole doing what? Auditioning for cats. Auditioning for cats, and here cats. you go. Oh, well, I've never really known which one is my favourite cat, but I spoke to my little son, Bear, and he said he liked because he's so little. Uh, so I'm going to be auditioning just for all of them, so here we go. Uh, the Rum Chum Tiger is a curious cat. Mr. Mustafali! Okay. Okay. I was at think oh. the whole time, but that reminds me so much of yeah. Sarah, but it was dead <laughs> on. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah Millican, let's move the shoulders a little bit. <laughs> that, was, yeah. that was an amazing Sarah Millican. Thank that you. Weird. That's not who I was supposed to be, though. <laughs> okay, okay. So, <laughs> final yeah. character for me. Sarah Millican. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 Watches the world's oh, best yeah. Cheryl Cole. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, I just need. To, I'm actually having to think of you now to think of how to do this. Doing what? Sarah Milliken doing what? Cats. <laughs> yeah. Something different. Something different. Um, Who the dancing? 
All right, so <laughs> I've got this big hula hoop here, and I'll put it round my waist, <laughs> and I'll spin around and I'll move my hips, and then I'll make some little comment about it to all of the people in the audience, and they'll laugh even though I'm just saying about a very ordinary thing. <laughs> okay. This is Alvin's audio description for a Sarah Millican comedy show. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, oh, so dear. the question is: What are we like? What are we like? The Question is, who do you think did the better impression <laughs> of Sarah Millican? <laughs> Make some noise if you thought that there was a really good impression of Sarah Millican just now. <laughs> Not from you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Or make some noise if you like Cheryl Carl. Woo! Ah! You got a shot from American Master. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> that should be. There you go. <laughs> so you have. Look at that. You have retained. Uh -huh. You have. Man, she's look at that. You retained the championship. It's not invited. So. <laughs> no, it's yeah. <laughs> so, guys, this has been the Extreme Improv Podcast Radio Rumble. You can see us every oh, week. So, make sure you tune in again next week. And look at the archive for old episodes. If you're watching us on Facebook, go and subscribe to us on YouTube. If you're watching us on YouTube, go and click like on the Extreme Improv page on Facebook. You can find all of our social media links at www.extremeimprov.co.uk. <laughs> And let's hear where you can find all of our performers on social media. We'll start over with Dave. You can find me on Twitter at Dagreeno. Okay, we will come to... As always, if you just Google Angus Dustigus, stuff will come up. And then we have... Me? If you like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Instagram as at literal bees. And uh, I am David Pustansky, which is spelled P-U-S-T-A-N-S-K-Y. Then we have... Well, my name's Ned Sanders. I didn't, don't have anything going on at the moment, but if you want a friend, hit me up. Okay. Oh. 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 okay, and then we have... I'm on Instagram and Twitter as at Samuel O. George. O. Oh, George. <laughs> that is definitely a thing now. Yeah, apparently. And then we have me. I've already said that. And then we have <laughs> oh. our champion. I'm Lottie Davis with an E. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at the most annoying champion. Uh, no, um, Liability Davis. Or on Twitter, Pinch Punch Impro. There you go. Until next time, thank you so much. Woo!